Holly, how's um, Tom Starby? How's he summered? Yeah, no, he's done very well through the summer. Um, looking forward to getting going with motor fences. I would imagine he'll start off at uh, either Utoxter or Warwick um, early November. But no, he's he's in good form. He's been down Henrietta Nights and had some intensive schooling and you now we're looking forward to getting going with him. OK, and bring up the storm. Um, yeah, he's he's obviously in good form as well. He's had a wind up, so he'll definitely come on for his run. Um, he's probably three weeks behind the rest of them, but uh, hopefully he'll have bigger and better targets in the spring. And itchy feet. Um, how's he come out of Kempton? Yeah, no, he's absolutely fine. Um, things didn't get a plan. He made a bad mistake, and I think that was probably caused by him being flat out. Um, I think we probably could do a stepping him up and trip. I don't think we're going to go jumping fences now this season. Um, but uh, listen, it, it, it's it's one of those, he was disappointing, but it certainly wasn't his run. And I think if he didn't make his mistake and, and get pushed wide, he'd have probably been a reasonable second. And uh, we wouldn't have been having this conversation, but no, he's still one I'm looking forward to. And you've got some exciting sort of youngsters, novice hurdlers or chasers. Could you tell me a bit about some of them? Yeah, no, we've uh, we've a lovely uh, lovely bunch of young horses to to go to war with this year. Um, I thought Nicholson was was very good in in uh, in Wincanton. Um, he jumped and travelled nicely. He'll either go to Ascot for a for an introductory hurdle now, or, or go to Cheltenham in November. Um, I thought the Wolf was good in Fakenham, albeit that he kind of hated the track. Um, he hasn't gone up in the handicap, and he's a horse who's going to go for a handicap and hopefully go for a greater race after that. He does show me a lot at home. Um, I.K. Brunel, he's going to start off at Fontwell. Um, hopefully he's capable again winning his maiden hurdle before stepping up in, in, in integrated company. Um, over the top, who's, who's a, a bump winner last season, he's going to start off in a maiden hurdle shortly as well. So, no, that's, ju that's just naming a few, and we've a, we have a lovely bunch of young bumbles as well. OK, and um, Finnorn Bourne, I heard um, you mention him recently. You think he's quite exciting? Yeah, he's a lovely horse. Um, a horse I didn't go three miles with last year, just because I didn't think he was physically able to. Um, he's crying out for a trip and, uh, and to go jumping fences. His scoring's been very good. He's going to start off at Chepstow in a, in a two miles six beginner's chase. Um, he was a 136-rated hurdler, and I'd be disappointed now if he didn't reach the heights or, or, or even better over, over fences. And Garrett's Town, how's he? Yeah, he's good. Um, Again, did well for a break. He's a horse who's um, been pr progressive. Um, he'll go jumping fence in time. I just want to get the gassiness out of him over hurdles by giving me his first run over hurdles. But he's uh, he's another horse I'm looking forward to and, and could win a nice handicap along the way. And you've got the likes of Monport, Perfect Man and Smackwater Jack. How are they? Yeah, they're all good. Um, Perfect Man, I thought he, he could win a nice handicap over, over three miles if he gets his underfoot conditions. Kind of the softer the better. He never really got it last year. Smack Water Jack, uh, he's in good form, and I, I, I think he's able to win a, a nice handicap of his mark as well. Um, so no, it's um, yeah, no, all, all exciting. And you've got some flat recruits like endlessly came from Martin Mead, and you've got um, astrologist. I, I read that he's a half. His dam is a half sister to a Guinea's third. How are they sort of? How do you see them? Yeah, no, they're both good. Um, Astrologist had a ha, had a minor setback at the back end of last year, so he won't be seen until Christmas. But his schooling's been good, and uh, he'll uh, he'll go jumping hurdles at Christmas um, endlessly. He was actually ready to run and had a had a very minor setback recently. He'll he'll start off in three weeks' time. He's a two-time winner on the flat for me as well, and looked very progressive. And he's a he's a fine big horse, and he's a horse I'm looking forward to. And you've got a few JP horses. Could you tell me a bit about them, please? Yeah, and no, I'm very lucky, obviously, to. To have three horses in the yard for, for, for JP. Um, Kaluni was was progressive last year and and, and ran well in a in a handicap hurdle at Market Raisin. Um, I hope he'd be competitive in a couple of nice handicaps this year. He's uh, he's since undergone a, a wind operation. Uh, Notre Perry was running a nice race and faking him before making a a, a terrible mistake three out. Um, we'll go back to a galloping track with him and I'm sure he's capable of going winning his maiden hurdle. He's a horse to to look forward to and Eagle Hill's been a bit disappointing to date. Um, he's going to have to improve considering what he's shown but he is a point to point winner and hopefully he'll improve with age. And um, Hunter's cool, he hasn't been seen for a couple of years, How, what's happened with him? Yeah he, he obviously had a couple of setbacks, um, he's back in training again, listen hopefully third time lucky. <laughs> um, I obviously only ran him once and 
the form of his race mascot has worked out unbelievably well. Um, if I can, if I can get him back on the track now, it'll be after Christmas. He's uh, he's uh, he's he's trotting away and and he looks really well. And uh, just hoping we can keep the keep the wheels on and and, and keep him uh, keep him fit and healthy. But he's in great form and he looks really well. And um, Fear Soul, he won the Sussex Champion Hurdle. How's how's he? He's very ground dependent. Um, he's going to have to have a winter break at some point, and we'll we'll bring him back for a a, a campaign in the spring. He was probably unlucky not to win the Swinton. Um, he met terrible trouble in running and, and missed the last and flew home to finish up a, a close fourth. But he's also plenty of ability, but kind of ha he has to be ridden patiently and mm -hmm. has to have good ground as well. And um, your bumper horses, if you could please tell me about a few of those. Yeah, we've a, we've a lovely team of bumper horses. Um, Gunsight Ridge and Lindley King, two point to point winners, both for the start from bumpers, um, mm -hmm. both show me a lot. Um, Fusia Nice um, was fourth in a point to point. He's a lot better in his point to point run. Um, he uh, he's a horse who, who shows me plenty at home. He's owned by Graham and Diana Waitley. Um, I have a lovely horse for Jared Sullivan called Etoile Rebel. He's a uh, he's a walk in the park. He's out the same family as Vator. Um, and I've I, I have so many unraced bump horses. We've about twenty five unraced bump horses for the season. Um, just picking out another I've Grandad's cottage that we bought from the entry sale. It's my first horse for, for John Hales. He's a he's a lovely son of Sean too. Um and uh, yeah, he's another one I'm looking forward to. But it's gonna be tricky splitting all these bumper horses up. We've uh, we've so many of them, but it's a nice problem to have. Um and if you have a rival to watch, it could be any trainer or any horse from any trainer, who would you pick? Cool, very good question. It's a hard one, isn't um it? yeah, I love uh Love Champ, um, also trained by Nicky Henderson. I, I think he got better and better last year. I mm -hmm. um, thought he was very good in Aintree, and uh, yeah, he's certainly one I wouldn't mind avoiding. And um, if you got a race in focus this year, what one would you have in mind? I suppose I've got a couple of nice novice chases, so geez, doing that arc of the JLT would be, um, yeah, would be a, a big buzz. And if you've got a dark horse in the yard, who would, you, who would it be? Christ, very, very, very good question. Um, questions. I'm not sh so sure he's a dark horse, but I think Nicholson could be very good. Yeah. And um, if you got two for the tracker, who would you, if you had to pick any? Uh, uh, Lindley King, I think he could be a very nice bumper horse. I'm not sure whether we're jumping hurdles with him yet. Um, and the Wolf, I think he could be very well handicapped. Mm.